we have five different data files. In this case, it's my four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I've got two things going on in there. I've got targets that are put in at differing concentrations. So starting from low to high, 1 ppm, 5 ppm, 10, 20, 50 ppm. So my targets are increasing in concentration while my standards are staying steady. You can use your QCS for this, but I'm just choosing one chemical from the QCS. And this standard, internal standard, or standard is going to be at about 8 ppm. Um, we'll let the method know that once we get there. But I'm going to start by opening my most concentrated data file to run my peak integration for all ticks. It'll basically register things to the um, spectrum process table. That's where we're going to go off of. So if you wanted to recap on how to do the peak integration for all ticks, kind of zoom in onto your baseline, and I'll say this is maybe 80,000 tick. Let's go back into qualitative. So peak integration for all ticks, I'm basing it off of my height. I've got 80,000 selected here, and then 5,000 is just a good number to use for my slope. I can hit OK. OK, and now when I go to my qualitative table, I've got a listing of all the different things in this data file. Well, I only care about my trichloro, my target, and let's say one standard, my 2-fluoro, 1,1-biphenyl. So I'm just going to delete everything that I'm not trying to calculate or use to calculate. Looks good. Only got the two things I care about here. I'm going to go ahead and click this Save tab. And now I'm going to load these things from the spectrum process table into my creating compound table. So go to create compound table, wizard new, and we're going to tell the method not only the different calibration levels, the 1, 5, 10, 20, 50, the in, but also the internal standard levels, which should be 8 ppm in this data file. Here's where I changed the targets, 1, 5, 10, 20, and 50 ppm with 8 parts per million on my standard. We also ended up changing this default ion allowance to 20. And now I'm going to select which of these chemicals are targets. My 1, 2, 3 trichloro is a target. And then I go up one. My 2 fluoro biphenyl is going to be my reference to calculate against. Let's go ahead and hit next and then finish. I'm going to save this method file as. We're going to load it in later for batch processing. Call this quant simplified. And now, whenever I go to batch processing, I'm going to start by selecting my data files. When I do this, it's important to load them from low concentration to high just by double clicking. So I'm going to double click each one of these. OK. Looks like that loaded in just fine. We want to initialize the curve at this 1 ppm level. So my sample type, standard, this initialize calibration curve. Put a little I in parentheses right there. Over here, my levels are increasing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My internal standard amounts are 8. But my method is not that simplified method that I just input. So let's use my brand new made method. Once all of these are selected, it's going to be as simple as hitting that Start button and using this new method with the calibration curve for anything that I want to quantify for this 1, 2, 3, 5 trichloro. So it runs in the future. Hit start, it'll think about each one. I'll save the batch. My batch simplified. Thought about each one real quick, and now let's take a look at it. Quantitative tab. So I've got two things over here in yellow. I've got my target, my trichloro, and then I've got my internal standard that it calculated against. But what I want to see is this calibration curve here, this line, and the red dots, which are my different calibration levels, to be really, really close to that line. It does look like maybe my 1 ppm, it didn't have quite enough concentration to get anything there, 
So if I were to redo this method, maybe I would choose something a little more evenly spaced. Maybe a 10, a 20, 30, 40, 50 ppm, um, but it's completely up to you. It looks like 1 ppm just wasn't intense enough to get picked up on this. But it looks really great to be straight on that line. So now we'll load this newly created simplified method onto our GCMS for those runs, and it can automatically, if I click this results tab, tell me what the concentration of 1,2,3-trichloro is for any data file I run in this results tab. I hope that helped.